Good morning, friends. Welcome back to our Sunday School Bible Story Time. Most of you are now out of school and have begun summer break. I'm so excited to see what God has in store for us this summer. Many of you have become familiar with the Bible Story Cube. This cube represents six major parts of the Bible. The first part starts with the creation of the world and the first man and woman, Adam and Eve. Then we see how sin entered the world because of distrust in God's goodness and character. Because of sin, we live in a fallen and broken world. Fallen and broken world. Next, we see how God called Israel to be his chosen people. Through the Israelites, God would one day send a savior to rescue the hearts of people all over the world. The most important part of the whole Bible happens here when Jesus comes to earth, lives a perfect life, and dies on the cross, overcomes death, and gives forgiveness of sins to all who believe. After Jesus ascends back to heaven, the disciples began the work of sharing the good news. This began the church. Lastly, the Bible ends by telling us of a time in the future when God will establish a new heaven and a new earth. All of the stories in the Bible fit together to tell one larger story, how Jesus came to rescue sinners. Today will be our fourth week in the book of Judges, where we continue to learn about God's relationship with the Israelite people. Let's sing the Old Testament song up to the book of Judges. Ready? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges. Good job. For many years, the Israelites had to fight their enemies to conquer the land that God promised to give them. We have learned about several judges and how God used them to defeat Israel's enemies. Today, we are going to learn about the last of the major judges of Israel, Samson. Samson helped defeat one of Israel's strongest enemies, the Philistines. Now, let's play a quick game of opposites. I'm going to say a word, and you have to say out loud what the opposite word would be. For example, the opposite of hot is cold. Okay, here we go. Opposite of dirty, open, inside, Empty, start, fast, noisy, wet, healthy, top, soft, job. You will hear some opposites in our Bible story today. God made a man named Samson very strong. We will also see what made him weak. Let's watch our Bible story video to see what happens. God's people kept getting into trouble. They disobeyed God again and again. Each time, God let their enemies have power over them. Now God's people were being controlled by the Philistines. One day, the angel of the Lord appeared to two of God's people. The angel told the couple that they were going to have a son. God had a special instruction for the baby. He should never cut his hair. God said, your son is going to save the Israelites from the Philistines. When the woman had a baby, she named him Samson. 
God made Samson very strong. Samson grew up and met a woman named Delilah. Samson fell in love with her. The Philistine leaders told Delilah, find out why Samson is so strong. The leaders wanted to make Samson weak. Delilah asked Samson, why are you so strong? Samson said, if you tie me up with seven fresh bowstrings, I will be weak. But that was not true. Delilah tied up Samson with seven fresh bowstrings. When she said, Samson, the Philistines are here to get you, Samson broke free. Delilah asked Samson again, why are you so strong? Samson said, if you tie me up with new rope, I will be weak. But that was not true. Delilah tied up Samson with new rope. When she said, Samson, the Philistines are here to get you. Samson broke free. Delilah asked Samson again, Why are you so strong? Samson told Delilah, If you weave my hair into a loom, I will be weak. But that was not true. Delilah wove Samson's hair into a loom. When she said, Samson, the Philistines are here to get you. Samson broke free. Delilah begged Samson to tell her the truth. So Samson did. If you cut my hair, I will not have my strength. When Samson was sleeping, a Philistine man came and cut his hair. Delilah woke up Samson. Samson, she said, the Philistines are here to get you. But Samson was not strong anymore. The Philistines grabbed him and took him away in chains. But Samson's hair began to grow back. One day, the Philistines made Samson stand between two columns in their temple. Samson cried out to God, and God made Samson strong. Samson pushed on the columns, and the temple fell down. Samson and everyone in the temple died, but Samson had saved the Israelites from the Philistines. Samson died because of his sin, but God used Samson's death to help his people. Samson reminds us of Jesus. Jesus never sinned, but he died for our sin. Jesus died and rose again to rescue God's people from sin and give them life with God forever. Just like before, God's people forgot about him and God let their enemies rule over them. This time, it was the Philistines. Samson was the next judge of Israel, and God gave him the gift of physical strength. Samson made many wrong choices, and he died because of his sin. But God used Samson's death to help his people. The story points us to Jesus. Jesus never sinned, but he died and rose again, to rescue us from sin. Jesus is able to give us life with God forever. Now let's see if you can answer a few questions from our Bible video. If you would like, you can pause your video and answer the questions together with your family. Number one, what was the special instruction God gave to Samson's parents? God told his parents that Samson should never cut his hair. Number two, what did Delilah ask Samson over and over again? Delilah asked Samson, why and how are you so strong? She wanted to know the answer to this mystery. Number three, after Samson's hair was cut, what did the Philistines do? The Philistines took him away in chains. Number four, what does Samson do to the temple? Samson pushed the column down and the temple fell down. 
When this happened, thousands of Philistines died in the temple, and the Israelites were delivered from them. Number five, what is repentance? Repentance is turning away from sin and turning to Jesus. Turning to Jesus means to stop trusting in what we can do to save ourselves, but to put our trust in what Jesus did on the cross, taking our punishment for our sins and exchanging it for life with God forever. A Bible verse that helps remind us of this is 1 John 1, 9. It says, But God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sin, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. Here is a craft I made to remind myself of our story and the amazing work God did through Samson. I used some toilet paper tubes, um, some felt and popsicle sticks, some markers. Um, in the comment section below our video, you can find instructions on how to make this craft at home. I had a wonderful time studying God's word with you today. Before we go, let's say a prayer together. Dear God, thank you so much for this time that we have to be together. And God, I pray that you'll be with each and every one of us. God, I pray that you will give us courage and strength, just like you did for Samson. And help us to face those moments that are hard and difficult, knowing that you are with us and beside us. God, you give each one of us special talents and abilities. For Samson, you gave him the gift of physical strength. And I know that you give each one of us special gifts too. God, I pray that you'll help us to use our gifts to glorify you. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.